If you have a haunted house, do you have to disclose that if you're selling your property? Here we are, it's Halloween, and so I think that this is the question on everybody's mind. If I have a haunted house, do I have to tell people that? Well, we do have a duty to disclose. When we have a problem with the property, the way that the real estate laws are is that you are required to disclose any problems that you're aware of with the property. Um, if you're not aware of them, if there's you know something that's hidden and you just don't have any way of knowing it, obviously you can't be held accountable for that. But if you're aware of it, if the roof is going bad and you know it, you have to tell people. If your water heater has gone out and you know it, you have a duty to tell people. Now, certainly they have to do their own inspections, but you are required to disclose known problems with the property. And this is to make sure that buyers and sellers understand that and that buyers are treated fairly. So that is the rules. But what about things like if your house is haunted? What if your house is in perfect condition? The roof is fine. The furnace is new. The water heater is new. The foundation is great shape and everything is in good condition, but you think the house is haunted. Do you have to tell people that? Well, that is a little bit different. We consider that something that's not really a defect with the property. That's what we call a stigmatized property. There's something about it that maybe there's nothing wrong with it, but you know something about it that maybe you know, could affect that property? And the answer is that for things in that category, things that are not actually wrong with the property, that it's a stigma for on the property, not an actual defect, you are not required to disclose that. You do not have to tell people if you think your house is haunted. Now, that's the legal part of it. Now, it could be that you decide that you want people to know that. In fact, there may be a situation where, you know, there it could be that there are people who would buy the property because of that. Uh, but that is a separate question. And that is something that you need to discuss with your real estate agent and you know, just give it some thought. Now, you know, one thing as a real estate agent, let's say that you believe your house is haunted and I list your property and someone comes and they're like, do you know of anything else about that? Well, I am not required to disclose that. If you have not told me that I can tell people that, then I can't disclose that to them. Now, the thing that I do think you want to be careful of, though, is you can't lie. You can't lie to people. So if somebody were to ask me directly, is this house haunted? I, I can't lie. I can't say no, you know, or, or I can't say, but if you told me I can't disclose it, I can't disclose that either. And so sometimes people find themselves in kind of this funny situation. And so the best that you can do is say, you know, there's nothing that I'm allowed to disclose about this property, uh, you know, along those lines. I can't answer that question directly. Now, if you want to do your own research and check things out, you're welcome to do that. You're welcome to ask people. You're welcome to look online or do any of that kind of stuff. But there's nothing else about that that I can disclose. And, you know, that's kind of a funny answer. Lots of times when you give answers like that, it kind of sets off red flags. But you know what? That is the answer you have to give. And that's one of the reasons I would tell a seller that you should consider that. Because if it does sound like there's a red flag or something like that, that might really be more of a concern to a buyer than if you just tell them, you know. But the truth of the matter is, is you say, I mean, you know, is it haunted? Well, I think some people would have different opinions about that. You might be absolutely convinced that the house is haunted, but somebody else who may have lived in that house may have thought that, you know, hey, that that bump in the night was my cat, 
getting into the attic. That door that flew open was a breeze. You know, it was things along those lines. And so, in truth, you can't honestly answer that question. Is it haunted or not? It's a matter of opinion. And so, you can't really give an answer to that. And so, but I do think that if you feel that way, you should really think about that. You should give it a little bit of thought, talk it over with your agent. And here's the other thing, is since it's not a required disclosure, you don't have to tell your agent anything at all about that. You don't have to mention it at all. And then they're not in any kind of a funny situation uh, in terms of answering that question. You know, they can just say, I'm not aware of any problems with that. I, I don't know. I, you know, I, I, and, and then they can kind of take it from there. But um, that's the answer. It is not required. I would say that that's, I know that's true in Kentucky and Indiana. I think that that is, that is the general rule of practice across the U.S. And I think that that is probably the same in every state. Although, I have to give you a caveat. You know, I'm licensed in Kentucky and Indiana. I don't have licensure in the other states. It could be that those laws are a little bit different. And of course, your agent has to comply with whatever laws those are. But in general, it is not a required disclosure. So just thought I'd let you know, if you, uh, you know, own the house that Beetlejuice is in, or if you happen to own the... Uh, the Adams family mansion and somebody brings it up and says, Hey, is this haunted? You are not required to tell them. So anyway, that's our Halloween special on stigmatized properties. I'm David McCoy, Ochimo Properties. My main focus is commercial properties. I do do some residential, usually for people who are looking for single family residences for um, investment purposes. Uh, but I do do some of that kind of work. And so if you have any other questions about this or you want to uh, ask me other questions, uh, give me a shout. You can send me, probably the best way is to leave a comment or send me a DM and uh, I would love to talk to you about it. So hope you all are having a great week. Uh, happy Halloween week. It's uh, Halloween and I uh, hope you all have a really great holiday. Take care, everybody. Bye.